Hello everyone, um, this video is about engine light uh, in your car and how to scan to find out what's wrong with your car, how you can turn that off if, if you wish to. Um, so I have VW Jetta and uh, when I start my car As you can see, I have an engine light there that showed up and I want to find out what's wrong. Um, so I got this little device on Amazon. Let me show you what it is. Um, this one is a blue driver, professional OBD, uh, which is I think stands for onboard diagnostics um, too. This is a scan tool that uh, a lot of professionals use. Um, yeah, so it works with uh, any device uh, in terms of if you have iPhone, iPad or iPod or any... Uh, this one specifically is for iOS because I have iPhone but they have this for any kind of device and uh, it works on all the vehicles that are um, that are 1996 or newer. Um, this one also, the, the advantage of this one, it also works with a lot more um, cars. So it works with vehicles sold in Europe, vehicles sold in Australia and New Zealand. Um, and the advantage of this tool, it also scans other things. So, so not only the engine light, but it checks for uh, it has enhanced diagnostics and it can check for airbag um, or anything any, any other things that could go, could uh, go wrong with your car it can scan uh, and it can check for those and it can turn off turn off these lights too uh, if you don't want to fix it for some reason which you should you should go to mechanic and fix it first before um, before turning it off but sometimes they charge um, I know in Canada if I want to go and I want to check what caused this engine light to come on they will charge me at the dealership they'll charge me 150 160 dollars uh, some places definitely definitely over hundred dollars um, to just find out what's wrong um, yeah so that's what we're gonna do um, and like I said, you can get this on Amazon, um, and, um, yeah, let's just see what's inside. So this is the device. Okay, um, typically in the car, where to plug this in will differ, um, but there is a law that it has to be visible. Um, so let's see where it is in my car. And it shouldn't be, according to the law, it shouldn't be hidden from you. So let's see, where's mine? Okay, mine is right here. So this just goes like that. Blue light comes on. And uh, now I'm gonna use the phone. So let's use my phone. I'm gonna put it here. Uh, you'll need to download an app. It's a Blue Driver app. So you'll need to download uh, this app from App Store. Before you uh, go and connect it here, you might have to go into your Bluetooth settings and just make sure your Blue Driver is connected to your phone. Uh, through Bluetooth. That's how it works. So again, I'm going to turn it on now. Um, this is the interface. 
So you can read the codes, clear codes, you can get, you can see all the reports. Another advantage of this is that you can actually see uh, how to fix this issue based on how the mechanics fixed it in the past. So uh, sometimes it's as easy as just, uh, you know, changing a small part yourself. Um, there's, uh, you know, vehicle information that you can get. Here you can see the status, how many kilometers the light has been on. So for me, it's been a while. Um, so we're going to do read codes. And it will ask you, do you want to just check the engine light only? Or do you want to do more, um, you know, more modules that you want to check? So um, typically, if you click on all system modules, it will take uh, quite a while, up to five minutes. For me, I just want to check the engine light. I'm going to click that. So we'll scan. Boom, and it will tell you. It will tell you uh, what's wrong. So in my case, I have this code. Um, which it shows pretty common for my car. Okay. Um, you can then go ahead and uh, Google more. And sometimes it will actually give you a little bit more information here. But for me, I know what this is. It's actually a filter that I have because my car is diesel uh, car. So I have to f I change a fuel filter. Um, and it's been a while since I've done that. Uh, so that's why the engine light came on. There is a smoke check here, uh, which is also really cool. It will check uh, if your car will pass uh, your emissions. Um, so if everything is okay, so most of the things okay, but I have engine light on, so it's not gonna pass this, the emission test. I need to fix that, of course. Uh, it will give you vehicle information, so you can have more information. You can see kind of where what the maintenance schedule is, if there is any recalls on the car. Okay, so. There's a lot more. Uh, mode 6 allows you to actually see things live. So connects to all the sensors in the car and uh, gives you live information. Right, so you can see live here. And you can customize any of these dashboards if you wish to. Um, you can basically select whatever you want to look at live. Um, Right now, this is RPM and kilometers, but there's some other things here as well. So if I rev it, right? So everything is live and this is pretty cool if you're trying to diagnose uh, the, the issue with your car and you wanna see. And there's a lot uh, a lot of information on sensors. If you're missing, if you, something's wrong with your sensors. Freeze frame, another interesting report. Um, but yeah, there's a lot. And if you want to clear codes, um, you can click clear codes. It will tell you, you know, you should clear codes um, only once you fix the problem. Uh, I'm going to try to clear all codes. And you'll see it's clearing here. And we're going to see if my engine light disappears. it's gone right so engine light is gone it cleared uh, my code I'll leave the link in the description um, to uh, where you can buy this uh, little device I found it really useful I found that it works on many cars uh, I tested it on old cars of uh, my friends 
new cars, pretty much any car I tested, it works. So, yeah, huge thumbs ups for uh, for this product. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on how the app works, what it can do. Um, happy to uh, chime in and answer it in the comments. Thank you.